Exciting. Good release on this one, Stacey. Get down, nice steady. It should drop for us. Come on now. There you go. Just split. Another four across the tipping point. Another 400 pounds. Go so up to 4,900 pounds. Please, may I drop down one? Of course, let's line it up. Thank you. Crucially, the jackpot counter is on the bottom shelf, Stacey, and you're keeping it moving forward, which is so, so important. Very well done. Music, mythology, sport, human body. Um, I'll go with mythology. Okay. Please. How many? Four, three, nine, absolutely. Let's have a mythology question for three counters, please. In Roman legend, who removed a thorn from a lion's paw to later be spared by the same lion forced to fight in the arena. Romulus, Hercules, or Androcles? I don't think, it's not Hercules, I know that story. I think it might be Romulus. Romulus? I'll go with Romulus. Let's light up Romulus. Oh, I don't know. Was it Romulus who removed the thorn from the lion's paw? Oh, Androcles! Darn, darn. Okay, not to worry. Never mind. We've had a good run of it so far. Not that time, though. So, let's have a look at what we've got left. Okay. I'm going to go for sport for free, because this is the one thing that, unless it's my partner's football team, I will know absolutely nothing about. Okay. That's the truth. Which team is it? Arsenal. Okay. So, if we could have a sport question on Arsenal, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Can we get a sport question for three counts, please? In 1999, which Dutch footballer was voted European Player of the Century? Marco van Basten, Ruud Hullet, Johan Cruyff. Have you heard of any of them? Of the century? So was he around like 1901? Who plays football for a century? It's a bit of a silly question. What about Marco van Basten? He's got a nice long name. Marco van Basten. Do we take Marco van Basten? Go on then. <laughs> I yeah. haven't got a clue. <laughs> Let's light up Marco Van Basten. By virtue of the fact he's got a nice long name. Yeah. Is the answer Marco Van Basten? Oh. You're in choice. Okay, not to worry. So you've got two categories left. Maybe I'll I'll go human body. And because he's saying I might remotely know, I'll go with two, just in case. Yeah. Let's have a human body question for two counters, please. In the human body, the cochlea is responsible for which sense? Hearing, sight, or smell? For some reason, I think it's hearing. I'm going to go hearing, I think. Let's light it up. Is the cochlea responsible for hearing? Two counters, two chances. Hi. Please, can I have drop zone one? You absolutely can. Let's load it up. Get in the white now. Let's get it down. Right on okay. that side, Stacey. Here we go. Can you get anything else? Uh, filled in the gap. Filled in the gap. That's all we need to do. One more counter for this category. Drop zone one? Yes, please. Fire up. Don't ride now. Get flat. Oh, darn. She's not listening to us, is she? Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. Nothing for those Nothing. two. Never mind. So we come down to your last category. Music for how many counters? I'll go for three counters. It's my last one. Let's do it. Well go for it. Let's have a music question for three counters, please. Which of these groups did not feature <laughs> Sean Ryder? 
as lead singer. <laughs> Black Grape, The Stone Roses, Happy Mondays. The Stone Roses. Ah, you seem pretty certain about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm so certain. Thank I've goodness for what you're so it. certain. Because <laughs> I remember him talking about the old Black Grape. <laughs> In the jungle. Let's light up The Stone Roses. <laughs> if this is right, we've got three last chances, Stacey. Was Sean Ryder not the lead singer of The Stone Roses? Course, the lead singer of the Stone Roses. Right, there's three counters, Stacey. Please, may I drop some on again? Let's light it up for you. Thank you. Here we go. This is it. We're over on the left, aren't we? So, let's go. Get over, get over. Yes! Yeah. Come on. This feels good. Come on. What do you got for us, Michelle? It's just edged it over slightly as well. We okay. need it to stay in touch on that side. Drop some one, please. Drop some one, it is. Thank you. Just like the last one's important. There, yeah. Wow. Is this the £20,000 drop? Six counters across the tipping point, so the money goes up by six hundred pounds to five thousand five hundred pounds. We have one counter left. Okay, drop some one, please. Drop some one. Let's do it. Let's light it up. Here we go. Come on now, Stacey. You are inches away. tipping point but that's not the right half so as things stand you've got five thousand five hundred pounds for your charity you can walk away with that money right now stacy or i can offer you a trade three final counters to put into our machine in the hope of winning the jackpot if you take the trade and you win you leave with twenty thousand pounds if you take the trade and you lose you'll be going away with just one thousand pounds with three counters being that Stacey. I don't know, I switch it for Cherry, so scary. Tell you what, I'll trade and then if I don't get it then I'll give that to him anyway. So. You have three last counters. Nothing else in the machine is worth any value other than that gold shiny jackpot counter. We need that one out of the machine. Okay. Drop zone one, please. Let's light up drop zone one. <laughs> Let's get your first zone counter in. Could be good. Will this win your charity? £20,000, Stacey. They will be absolutely delighted and very oh. proud of you, as are we, Stacey. You've been absolutely brilliant. And you're leaving with £20,000 for your charity. <laughs> Stacey Solomon, everybody.